Hi, welcome to the Day Zero channel. Today, I will show you how I made this logo, starting from a sketch. Let's begin. For the creation of the logo, I used Illustrator. I opened a new file on Illustrator and uploaded the sketch, then I locked the layer where the draft was and created a new layer. On the new layer I created a text and apply a font similar to that of the sketch. I adjusted the text to fit the sketch. Before creating the star, I added some guides to be more precise. With the pen tool I drew lines following my sketch. Then, with the direct selection tool, I selected the points in the star center and curved them, in this way I eliminated the sharp corners. Finally, I adjusted the position of some points making the star much more symmetrical. In the last step I selected and converted the text into shape, if you don't know how to do it, just hit command or control plus shift plus O. I removed a bar line of the letter A and I changed the angle of inclination of the text. I duplicated the star and turned off the duplicate layer, then selected the star and text. With the shape builder tool, I deleted the star and some parts of the text, to delete you have to press the alt key. Finally I selected the top part of the text and moved it slightly higher. I activated the previously duplicated star layer and made some small tweaks. Now I have to give it the final look on Photoshop, but first, remember to subscribe and activate the bell so as not to miss any new content coming. To import the logo, you can drag it into Photoshop directly from Illustrator. On Photoshop, I added some damaged textures and a purple shade to create the background. The background I used can be found on my Gumroad profile, link in the description. I inverted the color of the logo and applied some damaged textures on it. To give the logo some distortion, I applied the ripple effect three times, with very low values, and here is the final result. 